very good uh, valid point you're making about the silence and the patience allowing things to happen in God's time and I've had the opposite experience as well too there's been times in prayer where I've wanted God to give me an answer immediately and I have not received the answer immediately in that sense I remember when I was doing my 30-day retreat 30 days of complete silence so you had periods of prayer during the day and during the retreat at one point I could find myself getting very angry and very annoyed because the interesting thing is whenever you go into silence, stuff begins to emerge that you normally don't think about, but you push down. But in silence, it begins to emerge. Stuff going back even from childhood can begin to emerge in that regard. And I remember being quite annoyed and angry with God because I felt there were situations where I felt he wasn't present, where I needed him and he hadn't been present. And I could find myself, the more I thought about it, I was getting more annoyed and more angry. And at one stage then, I had to stop really focusing on that because I realized that my anger itself was blocking me from being open to what God wanted to say. So I needed, I knew I needed to move on, but it was unresolved and I left it. And it was interesting because when I was walking around, I noticed a big wooden cross on the ground, which I hadn't seen for the three weeks previous. But the reason why I saw it now was they had cut the grass and what had been buried was now exposed. So in a way, it was a bit like that. What was going on inside of me was something that had been buried quite deep. And now God was bringing up for healing in the prayer time. But all I was experiencing at that stage was kind of anger with God or annoyance with God because I believe he wasn't there when I needed him most in that sense in, in, a, in childhood. So then what happened was Several months later, more than six months later, when I least expected it, I got an answer to that prayer. So God in his own time, in his own way, answered the prayer. And I got the answer, not when I was praying, but when I was in the shower of all things. Because this phrase came into my mind, and I knew it was a phrase that only God could put into my mind. It wasn't coming from me. And the phrase was, but Yunan, did you not know this was Jesus was saying, did you not know that I was with you and within you when you were suffering? We never suffer on our own. When we suffer, Christ suffers with us and within us. That's the meaning of the cross. His story is also our story. And what I learned from that was that, you know how it says in the gospel where, where Jesus says, whatever you do to the least of my brothers or sisters, you do to me. It's equally true to say that whatever anybody does to you, he does to Christ in you as well. Yeah,